So first of all, I didn't know whether I wanted to make this video or not. The show I'm talking about is Orchestra United and I'll be honest with you, I don't know, well I know one person who watched this because we watched it at the same time, but I don't know anybody else who's actually seen the show. Nobody I know has talked about it, nobody's talked to me about it, I, um, I searched Twitter feeds, very few people talk about it on there and I can just find very little about it as far in, in the way of opinions go from other people. But Orchestra United began last Sunday on Channel 4 and it's a four part show so the next one is actually tonight so I thought well I'll do the video today maybe if you watch this just before it's on maybe one or two other people will maybe check it out if they like the sound of it because I'd like to know more people who watch it and basically it's like an orchestra version of I'm trying to think of a show it'll compare to it's like do you know that show that they did with the choir I, can't, I didn't watch it but I know of it do you know the show where the guy got kids and turned them into a choir it's the orchestra version of that. So James Lowe has all these kids and he's trying to make them into a successful orchestra, basically. It starts off, the first episode last week was kind of like an audition show, where we saw all these kids going into this room with their instruments one by one and playing for James Lowe and a panel of a few other people who I don't really know who they were, to be fair. Um, so they'd taken, like, some had taken an electric guitar, some had taken a violin, so that's, that's the, the first thing that we sort of saw. They didn't have to play an instrument that was that you'd find in an orchestra. I mean, for example, you wouldn't find an electric guitar in an orchestra. But if they played electric guitar, the theory was, well, maybe we can teach them to play um, double bass and things. Um, there was a... The, la, 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 I'm getting tongue-tied. There was a lot of them who did go in with orchestra-ready instruments. There was loads and loads of violins. Um, wind instruments, other string instruments. One or two people actually came in with a harp, which was quite unexpected, but that was nice. Um, and then at the end, we saw who went through to the sort of the boot camp. Seventy-five kids went through to the boot camp, and that—that that is the thing. They are all kids. I think the youngest is ten or eleven, and the oldest is probably sixteen or seventeen or something. And the 75 kids went into this one boot camp, which first of all spells trouble. That's a lot of kids to have in one building for a long period of time. And then in the next few, the next episodes, I suppose he's just going to train them up, get them ready for this big performance. I cannot remember what the performance is, because it wasn't really expressed that much. It wasn't something that was fed to us a lot. It really does focus on making these kids good orchestral musicians, rather than trying to big up the performance that they're going to do. But that could change tonight. And if I do find out what this performance is for, I'll put it in an annotation or in the below bar for you or something like that. The idea behind the show, I think, is quite nice. There are a lot of these shows beginning to appear now. Like I said, there was that choir one. Now there's this. I think there's another thing like this being advertised just now. I can't remember what it is, so I can't really tell you much about that. But I'm sure there's another show show another show similar to this one that will be on soon. If there is, I will watch it. To be honest with you, I think the audition stage at this was quite good and so far the highlight because I think about 80% of the first episode was auditions. The other 20 showed us like team building and things because they had this big team building event in the in the boot camp to get everybody together. And it did sort of show us the kids' different personalities. There were some of them who were really lively and really energetic, whereas some of them were quite placid and rather, not not shy, but, you know, they were a little bit more withdrawn than the others. There was this one girl who you can see is so incredibly shy and very timid. I can't remember her name. But you can see she was quite sort of uncomfortable in the environment and being around lots of people. And the thing is, I'm really curious to find out how she's going to do, because in her audition, I don't, want, I don't really want to spoil this by telling you too much. Okay, I'll tell you this one, but this isn't, this isn't the highlight, so don't worry, I'm not spoiling it. She came into the audition with like a, 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 a I don't even know what it's called, it's like the single drum thing. What's it called? The, okay, I can't remember the name of it, but we'll just call it a drum. And she batted out a rhythm on it, which... You should watch the rhythm, that bit is quite amusing. And to be honest with you, she had the beat, she had the rhythm, you know, she wasn't going all over the place, she had the steady beat to it and everything. But the thing is, she couldn't read music, she'd never played in an orchestra before, 
from what I could tell, she didn't have any musical background or proper experience. Now, while this show is all about finding kids who are not necessarily perfect at playing the instruments, but still have a passion, I think that is a big gamble for them because she can't read music or anything. The environment is completely different to her. You know, it's like having a fish out of water and it's she's starting from scratch. Whereas I think the rest of the kids at least have some musical background or some experience or knowledge of an instrument. So it'll be interesting especially to see how that one turns out. Um, the youngest kid is absolutely adorable. He plays the cello. And it's going to be interesting to see how he holds up as well because most of the kids are in their teens whereas he is still in primary school. So that, that's quite sweet. In charge of the whole orchestra, I'm not going to tell you much more than that, but the person who is in charge of the whole orchestra is very surprising indeed. You will be surprised at who they chose. And the, the reason why it's surprising will become very obvious when you find this out. But I don't want to spoil that bit for you because that is quite... Not shocking. It's not like, oh my god, how did they do that? But it's, it's more, wow, this is going to make the TV more interesting. To be fair, you can't see they've taken a lot of gambles. The show itself is a bit of a gamble because nothing like this has been done before with an orchestra. James Lowe himself said he doesn't know how it's going to turn out, you know. He's never done anything like this before. It could be a complete disaster. I think it is quite predictable, to be fair. You can say straight away that there's going to be tears and tantrums and big problems along the way. And then I predict that there's going to be this big, amazing finale at the end of it. It's just sort of the way you can see it kind of heading. But I could be wrong. And if I'm proven wrong, I won't moan. That'll be fine. It'd be quite nice to be proven wrong, actually, because I don't really like it when shows are overly predictable. But, yeah, that's basically all I had to say about that. I Actually, I, mean, I did make one more note. There are a lot of these kids who are hiding the fact that they love their instruments. For example, there was this one kid who played something, I can't remember what instrument it was, and he was like, oh, well, I've got to hide the fact that I have lessons and things from my friends because I'm embarrassed. That really annoyed me because if you're that passionate about something, why hide it? Why hide that part of your life if it's so important to you? So I don't want to be horrible, but I think those kids who are hiding it really don't deserve it. Deserve, they don't deserve this experience because, for example, if I hid my love for television, it's like I'm hiding the biggest part of my life and I wouldn't I, I would just wouldn't deserve it because it's like I'm ashamed of it and you shouldn't you shouldn't be rewarded by things you're ashamed of. It's not it's not the way things should go. You know, it, it's like changing your personality to suit the people around you and I just don't agree with them hiding their love for their instruments at all. But never mind. That's all I'm gonna say about this just now. It is on tonight, Sunday, at seven PM on channel four. And then after that you have the Amish show, which is pretty cool as well. So Keep watching that channel for that. Um, but feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts on this. Do let me know if you saw it prior to me making this video because, well, I want to know other people who've been watching it. 4OD have uploaded the first episode if you missed it and obviously they'll upload more if you cannot catch it tonight. Um, again, as with my other Channel 4 ones, I'm sorry if this isn't available in the States if you like the sound of it. I know a lot of them aren't, which is a shame. Um, but hopefully somebody else will upload it to YouTube. That's all I'm going to say about this just now, so I will see you in my next video, which I'm not sure what that's going to be yet, I'm still deciding. But if you have any requests, let me know and I'll get around to doing them. As I said in my video yesterday, I do still have some requests to get around to. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say just now, so I will see you next time. Bye guys!